Hello. Uh, my name is Ruta Meista, and I will introduce today the course uh, Circular Economy. So welcome. And let's start from histor historical background. The idea of the circular economy has two long strands relating to the flow of materials through an economy. And the second is concerned with thinking about the economic conditions that might bring about such a flow. And these two conceptual trends streams go back to the early days of the modern environmental movement in the 1960s and 1970s and have a subsequent symbolic relation with it. The idea became a central part of the emerging research discipline of industrial ecology. The traditional model of industrial activity in which individual manufacturing processes take in raw materials and generate products to be sold plus waste to be disposed of should be transformed into more integrated model and industrial ecosystem. Bolden's paper opens with a discussion of the difference between open and closed systems, particularly in respect of the three essential elements of existence. First of all, materials, then energy and information and knowledge, of course. These three elements underpin the economy as a material process involving the discovery and mining of fossil fuels, or etc. In other words, what is now called the take, make, dispose linear economy. An early depiction of a circular economy you can see in this picture, starting from uh, material supply, then ending a first life cycle. Stahel developed his ideas with a prize-winning essay in 1982 that identified the ex extension of the used life of goods as a sensible point of which to start a gradual transition towards a sustainable society in which progress is made consistent with the world finite resource base. Uh, which is called the spiral loop system that minimizes matter, energy flow, and environmental deterioration without restricting economic growth or social and technical progress through. And uh, there you can see a circular economic system. So what makes resources, production, consumption, utility, waste, and recycling, and ends at environmental as waste sink. Uh, if the assimilative capacity is exceeded, the wastes become pollution, which can damage both natural systems and human health and welfare. Uh, there, the butterfly circular economy diagram shows that idea. In mid of 2015, Potoknik introduced his circular economy package from the European Commission by when it was clear that the concept had arrived in mainstream in business and politics. And that is in short introduction to circular economy of a material uh, with deeper explanation and topics uh, you can find on the website. Thank you for the attention.